How's that look for size? Well hello and welcome back to Postcats Cabin. I'm outside here with Bertie who's been feeling fairly lonely and forgotten about in the last three or four weeks. In fact he hasn't been out on the road for over a month. Uh, we're still in lockdown, it's January 2021 and we're halfway through the month already and uh, we really want to get out but of course we can't just yet. But we can go back in the warm. I've got a couple of boxes that have arrived in the post. One of them, Sue has no idea what's inside it. Let's go and have a look. Well hello, oh, we've come indoors now and um, I've got a couple of unboxings to do. Sue's just in the other room making a quick phone call. So while she's doing that, I thought I would show you this. Now, you you might see a microphone strapped to my uh, lapel here. There's a couple of um, mi lapel microphones and the other one's here. They are attached to a long piece of wire, about two meters, six feet or so. And uh, on the end of that, there's a little torpedo almost the size of an AA battery with a little flat battery inside, rather like a hearing aid battery, which has a switch on it, on and off. That is plugged into the GoPro, which we're using today, the GoPro Black um, 7. This comes with a bag, by the way. Um, this comes in a, in a, um, a box like this. It's a Boya uh, BY-M1DM. I uh, bought this in November uh, because I thought we might be able to plug it into the GoPro and talk to you as we're driving along on our Scottish trip, which didn't happen in November. Um, and I just looked on Amazon where I bought it from and it says if we're not happy with the product we can um, send it back before the 31st of January. And we're now mid-January and I thought well, I'd better give it a try. Uh, if, it's, if it's no good I'll just send it back. In reality though, it's only um, 20 pounds. I think it was 19.99 from Amazon. And so uh, nothing much lost. If the sound is good enough to use in the van when we're driving along, that's good enough for me. And also I thought, well, I'll get a couple of these little fluffy things, the little dead mice to stick on the top. They come with a normally with a little um, foam cover on the microphone. I've bought these as extra. I think again about another 50, 15 pounds for two of them um, just to make sure that we don't get too much wind noise. So that was in preparation for a trip that didn't happen. <laughs> As you can imagine how frustrating this is uh, for all of us really we're not being able to get out but I thought I'd show you that and that so if you're interested we're not um, uh, promoting this product in any way it's just something that we've bought and that we're trying and uh, now we'll move on to Sue opening up her box. All right. Yep. Well, we've got a parcel come today um, and I've been asked if I can open it. So I haven't got a clue what it is. I suspect Trev's already told you, but anyway, so I've got to open it anyway. Sue so genuinely doesn't know what this is, do you, babe? Nope. That's sharp, that little thing, isn't it? Very sharp. Yeah, be careful that. Bought from Amazon. Mm. And I'll put the description and the price and so on with a link in the description below. A digital wildlife camera. Oh. There you go. You want to explain the reason why you might have bought that for you? Oh. So I can look at the, the fox. Mm. We've got a fox that um, has been coming to our garden for a long while. We took a photo of him four years ago, didn't we? Yeah. I think I'll it's the same one. He comes every night about half eleven. So I've noticed if I chuck anything down for the birds, he eats it. And so I've been trying to spot him. Some nights he comes a bit earlier. Oh, I see. So it's camouflaged. Oh, lovely. Oh, that'd be good then. Thank you. Now, a lot of people so have these. So with, they take it out with the motorhome. So if we you, can uh, use it when we go out, can't we? Yeah, and put that behind yeah. the motorhome and spot anything that's about. A bit like a dung can. 
A meerkat can. <laughs> <laughs> You're watching it's too much foxy, David Attenborough. Foxy can. <laughs> yeah, we can call it foxy can. Yeah, well, that'd be good. So there's a, a SIM card to come with it, which uh, Royal yeah. Mail should be delivering in so a day or two. So this must be like a waterproof box. It is, yeah. Oh. And uh, it comes on, it works in the dark. So it, pro it actually produces... Uh, 1080p colour photographs and, and mm. moving pictures. Oh, that's uh, good. Colour in daylight and then in black and white in the dark. Yeah. So oh, that's good. Uh, so I'll put the details of that in the description below. And uh, I've been in the next day or two, we'll. Feeding him dry chappy. <laughs> I'll start putting dog food out. <laughs> she didn't tell me that. <laughs> We've got a big bag of it, so, so I thought no he likes our house. Yeah, bless him. All right, so we'll try and take a bit of footage and we'll tag that on the end. <laughs> oh, thank you. All right. So just putting the food out, which is dried chappy, but I do soak it in water because I don't want the fox to get really thirsty, and I do leave water out as well. And we've Change the, the cam camera angle here. Um, we're facing the other way now, and uh, already we've got a sighting of... A fox? No, we don't know, but after watching this footage, we think we could have two or possibly three different foxes. So, I mean, if you, you're all welcome to have a look and see if you think there's several different foxes here. Um, we've discovered one has got a mark on its side. It's a bit difficult to see when it's in black and white, but we're just thinking if it's the same family, maybe they share the food. I'd, we don't know. This fox looks a bit smaller, doesn't it, Sue? It's a little yeah. bit um, nervous. She's not really engaging with the food. She's looking around all the time. And darting off every now and again. Yeah, what we've done was just scattered it in the grass there. But she's definitely... Uh, watching, keeping an eye. And we've discovered that one particular fox comes through a gap in the hedges and another one walks up the path. So it could be... Could Fairly be still night, you can see the trees are hardly moving uh, to the left of the shot there. This and uh, There she goes, or he, whatever. Yeah. Oh no. She's oh, going back for another little bite. She's nervous. Let's come back and let's see. <laughs> yeah. I wondered if uh, she's hearing noise somewhere. Um, no mark down the side on that one, is there? There's no mark on the on the flank, on the left flank, sort of between the two legs on a body of the fox. We've noticed that that one hasn't got a mark, and it appears to be smaller. No, here come. No, here's a. This is later box. on in the night. And that, that fox looks bigger. Yeah, we thought that was a different fox, didn't we? Yeah. Mm, maybe more. A little bit more, more confident. confident, yeah. Now this must have been about quarter to eleven in uh, in the evening um, at this time, because just above the fox's head there, you can see a street light. And those street lights go out at about 11.30 in the evening. Yeah, this fox does look bigger to me. But see what everybody else thinks. Yeah, as it, the mark is not on this side that it, it's shown here. It's on the other side of uh, the fox. Now, I don't think this one has a mark. And we, he might turn around in a moment and give us a view of his other side. His left side. But uh, they've been regularly visiting our garden, haven't they, Sue? They've been coming for years. Yeah. We've never recorded them before. We've always had urban foxes in the area. Um, you can hear them calling in the yeah, There's a little little patch on his back leg there, but I think that's just the way his coat is. Yeah. Now off he goes. No See, there's no mark, mark on that one, is there? 
get see that one always goes down the path. Yeah, if that's the same fox. That one came now this one again later very, that very night. Nervous, this, sh- this is the little nervous one. Is that the same fox coming back? <laughs> she looks as if she's got a different mark on her face. And smaller. And a smaller, very nervous. Really. Uh, it has started to rain now. Yeah, maybe she'll turn around in a minute. I think this yeah, is I think, the mark on the side. Yeah, isn't I it? think you're right, Sue, yeah. Still the first night, isn't it? Mm-hmm. You might notice one or two little jerks. It's because the camera takes 30 second shots and then it has to pause for a few seconds and then take and some more. She's got There's down the, the mark, side. yeah, between the, the back legs, halfway up her side. But that's the nervous no, one. It's to me, that looks like she's been clipped. It always goes out the hedge She might have been clipped by a car or something. But, yeah, we've spotted a couple of times she went out via that route. This is the second night. Now, this is the second night. I've put the food out, got my slippers on, look. <laughs> Streetlights are still on. And here, here she, this is the, the one with the mark. mark, yeah. The nervous one. So this is the second night. And I put the food a little bit close at the camera. The only thing is that being it's in, being it's infrared, it's slightly overexposed on on the head, um, so you can't see the markings quite so clearly. Looks very hungry. But she's munching away there. Oh, see, she's ever so nervous. Yeah, I she might. Have, she. We think we might she. be moving about in the lounge, which is just behind the camera. Um, or moving about in the house or have the TV on or something like that and she's hearing things. But as you can see down her side there, you can see that mark see look. Clearly. Yeah. Yeah, she's definitely hearing noises. Well, we live in a cul-de-sac, so we don't get the three. There's not a main road, no, us, but so. there is a main road um, behind the houses. We think they come from, or one of them comes from a lane nearby to us, don't we? Yes. And we found a hole in a fence when you walk down there, haven't we? You yeah, there is a hole in the fence. There's one or two they fit places through. where they could, yeah, where they could escape from, to and from. And we used to get them in our back garden until we put six foot fence. Yeah, we renewed up. the fence panels a couple of years ago, didn't we? And there now she's see, disappeared through that gap. Yeah. And here come and, another uh, one. No, the list is a little is late the, the same, same night. It's just the same one. Let's have a look. Still a little bit nervous. No mark down the side, is There's there? There's no mark on that one. But it doesn't look as big as the other fox somehow. I don't, so I wondered whether this is a third animal. Yes, and this it, is a very yeah, confident it, one. Look, sits down. Look at yeah, that. He's, Munching he, away. I haven't could, got a care in the world. I'm going to sit down. I'm still looking round, but <laughs> I'm still going to have a meal. <laughs> Sitting down again. Yeah. He's cheeky, quite he's cheeky, quite happy to uh, <laughs> He's quite happy to have his dinner on our lawn. <laughs> and now the come, little, here later, the little one again, look same one with little the Little one's come back with the mark. So definitely a you different can see the mark really fox. clearly on this picture. That's the same one that came first of all, isn't it? Nervous. Really nervy. No food left, maybe? It's all gone there, do you reckon? Yeah. Yeah. The other one had a feast. It's interesting that she didn't eat it all the first time. That's just too much. Ah. Who's that? Yeah. <laughs> oh, bit of Echo Foxy again. Yeah, she's still about. Back and again. then they come back. No, is this the big one? The other. See, this is this one. No, this bigger is bigger than the other two. This is early hours of the morning because all the streetlights have gone out. Look, 
You can't tell. No, Martins can't see the side of that one, can you? Oh, and who's this? <laughs> it's quite a well-covered... He's got white legs. Well-covered feline. Yeah, he don't look ugly, does he? <laughs> he knows Excuse something, me? Something's going on. He's... What's that? Yeah. Now come the next morning. Daylight. A different cat. That one hasn't got white legs. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. And uh, if you did... It's a bit different. We thought you might like to get... Yeah. Be interested in getting a camera, maybe. And uh, next time, we'll be back out in the motorhome. Bye. Bye for now.